Hi guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. Today I'm really excited to bring you one of my favourite pieces of all time from the Jurassic Park series. And it's one from the Toy Series 1. Um, today we're going to be looking at this beast. It's the Jurassic Park Electronic Big Red Rex. And it completely fills the frame, um, as it should, because it's giant. Um, and it's just a fantastic toy. This was the one that everyone wanted when Jurassic Park came out. It represented the big brown Rex in the film, although this was red. Um, and just every kid wanted this toy. This was the daddy of the Jurassic Park toys. Um, the packaging here is beaten up because he's a bit old. He's from 1993. I do have a freshly boxed mint version of this one that I've got stashed away, but I thought for an unboxing this would make a great review. So, starting off with the packaging, we've got the Jurassic Park logo here. As we go around you can see it says Electronic Tyrannosaurus Rex. It says their realistic dinosaur skin and movie collector card inside. So this is the classic Jurassic Park packaging, going from red to yellow, and then we've got a plastic window in there. I have seen variations of this T-Rex without the plastic window. I think in the UK and the US they had two different versions. I've also got the windowless version, but here is the electronic T-Rex stashed safely inside, and what a size. I mean, if you look at the size of my hands, I've got big hands. And this thing is massive, absolutely massive. On the top there we've got Tyrannosaurus Rex and a great picture of the Red Rex. Electronic. And then it shows you the action features there. So if you squeeze his chest round his ribs, he opens his jaws and makes an electronic roaring sound. And if you slam him down on the ground, he makes a big foot stomping sound. Um, just like he did in the film. Um, causing everything with water in it to vibrate. Um, just fantastic. Here's the side of the packaging, Tyrannosaurus Rex Electronic. And what a great picture there. On the back we've got the classic mural that used to come with all of the toys. You can see there a diorama that's been built for our T-Rex to live in. We've got Robert Muldoon down there with a rocket launcher. Here we've got uh, Grant and Tim. And here's some more information about the action features. And as you can see here, the other dinosaurs in the range. All of these have been reviewed on my channel, so go and check them out if you're into the Jurassic Park toy line. And these are sort of the, the mid-range, um, more expensive dinosaurs with rubbery skin. Okay, let's get this thing out of the packaging. I can't wait. Okay, so here he is, out of the packaging. It's the giant red T-Rex, the most popular Jurassic Park toy of the Series 1 toy line. And he's got the trademark bent tail. Now, uh, for you, those of you who don't know, the box was actually too small to contain this giant toy. And uh, back in the day, you would always get this kink in the tail um, caused by the fact that the tail was bent inside the packaging. Um, it's on every Jurassic Park toy. The way you can get rid of it is if you hold it under some hot water, not too hot, sort of lukewarm, and just lightly press it. Sometimes it can massage out the kink in the tail, and I did that for my Bull T-Rex and it worked nicely, so I might do that with, uh, with my old one here. But um, here he is, fantastic size, as you can see. A brilliant, brilliant toy. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Fantastic. Now, this one at the moment hasn't got the batteries inside, so what I'm going to do is show you how to install the batteries. That's something that I think is really important, and uh, not many videos really show you how to do that, so we're going to do that right now. If I take my Phillips screwdriver... Okay. So, second screw taken out, then you can remove the cap. Got the, the connectors for the D battery. So, oh, just make sure it's connected again. Sometimes it's a little fiddly, this part. Stick that in there. Now I can put the cap back on, 
but I'm actually going to leave the battery out so it doesn't corrode. It's probably a good idea with your vintage toys if you're going to hold on to them for a long time, just make sure the batteries don't corrode over time. So I'm going to take this one back out afterwards. So I'll leave the cap off for the minute. So you heard it there, that's the T-Rex Roar. And for this one, I think because he's a little old, his jaws don't open too much. But to be honest, it's pretty cool nonetheless. And the harder I press, the more opening I can get. Pretty cool. So that's one of the features, is the roaring. Just one more time. That's so cool. Okay, and the other feature is if I press him down on the floor suddenly. Hear that? So he makes the stomping sound. So I can actually reenact a scene from Jurassic Park. So unfortunately I don't have the collector's card for this guy. Um, it's gone missing over the years, but uh, I still think it's a cracking toy and you've got a good look at the packaging there. Um, one of the things that people often mention is the fact that the roar doesn't sound like the original roar in Jurassic Park and to be honest I think it's because these toys were being made before the film even came out. If you look at a lot of the toys in terms of their inaccuracies and their paint jobs, especially this one, um, they're not true to the film and I think there was just a case of they needed to get these toys made and they needed a good year or so lead up to get these things manufactured and out when the film came out. So that's probably why the sound effects are not film accurate. But uh, a fantastic toy nonetheless and I really love the stomping feature if I'm honest. I could just do that all day. Okay let's have a closer look at this guy. So you can see the paint job and the sculpt is absolutely amazing. And what I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that this might be a cast of one of the Stan Winston sculpts because it's so well done. Um, I don't know if anyone could confirm that, but the, the sculpt of the T-Rex is so well done and actually very close to the Stan Winston sculpt. Um, the miniature sculpt. So, I wonder if they took uh, took mouldings from the original. On the side, you've got the classic JP logo, JP09, and uh, there he is. Fantastic. In terms of articulation, he hasn't got much. You can wiggle his arms, and obviously his jaws open when you squeeze that button. And that's it, I'm afraid. Um, in the 90s, articulation didn't take the main stage. Um, it was more about the electronic gimmicks or features, but this toy is so memorable to me that, to be honest, the articulation is not an issue. Um, I think articulation is something that, as I've gotten older, I've appreciated because sometimes you want to pose the creature. Um, but when you're a child, I think the gimmicks and the electronic features sell to you more. Okay, guys. So, did you own one of these as a child? Do you enjoy playing with the electronic features, the stomping and the roaring? Just let me know if you own one of these and your stories associated with the T-Rex. And in the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe. Check out the Facebook and the Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.